Hello everyone, welcome to this video on Digital Electronics Lab. In this video, we will see the implementation of 4-bit data bar subtractor using IC7483. For that, first uh, select the component mode. In the component mode, select the PIC devices. In the PIC devices, we have to select the IC7483. Next, we have to select XO gate. Now we have to select LED for viewing the output. Now we have to select logic toggle. Okay, so we have selected the required devices. Now we can start the implementation. So first let's take the IC7483. I'm going to place that over here. Now let's take the, uh, we have to connect A1, A2, A3, A4 to logic toggle or the switches. So I'm taking the switch. So we can connect the switches to A1, A2, A3 and A4. Now we have to connect XO gates to B1, B2, B3 and B4. So let us choose the XO gate. So we can connect the output of the XO gates to B1, B2, B3 and B4. This is B1. Now uh, we have to connect, we have to short one of the inputs of all the XOR gates. And we can give that to a mode switch. I have to give this to a mod switch. Now I have to give this connection to So let me drag this. So I have to short those inputs and I have to give mode here. 
okay and i have to give mode that mode input to c in also that is c0 here pin number 13 it is evident from here i have to give mode to c in that is 30 I have to give this to 13 also. Now I have to give uh, logic toggle to another uh, the other inputs of XOR gate. So uh, this side is complete. Now I have to give the outputs to LEDs. So I am dragging that to down. So we need 5 LEDs for S1, S2, S3, S4 and C out. So let us connect this to S1, 9 to S1. Now this is connected to the next state ready. Let this be S2. This is connected to the third LED S3. This is connected to the fourth LED. Let this be S4. And this is connected to C out. And now we have to give the ground. So that for that we have to take the terminals mode. Select the ground. I have to connect down to all the LEDs. Okay, so now uh, now our circuit is complete, and uh, let's name this this uh, all these LEDs. This is C4. At properties, I can name it as C4. This is S4. S4. S4 is the MSB and S1 is the LSB. This is S3. This is S2. And this is S. And this is S1. Similarly, I have named uh, these inputs also. So this I have given as A1, A2, A3 and A4. This I have given as B1, B2, B3 and B4 and this one is mode. Uh, I have given it as the mode control M. Now uh, let us verify the 4-bit adder and RM subtractor. So first let us consider the 4-bit adder. Uh, so 4-bit adder, we, let, we can consider this example. We have seen this in the last video. So let us consider the addition of two 4-bit numbers that is 9 and 10. So we can give uh, 9 to A, that is 1001 to A, uh, A4, A3, A2, A1 and 10, that is 1010 to B. And our result will be 19, that is equal to 10011. So let us verify this. So I have to give 9 to A. So nine, A is, uh, if A4 is the LSB, MSB and A1 is the LSB. So, I have to give uh, uh, A41, so 1001 that is given at A and B is 1010, B4 is the MSB. So, B4 is 1, B3 is 0, B2 is 1 and uh, B1 is 0 and the mode is 0. So, at the output we must get 10011. So, let us verify that. 
So we have to run the simulation. So the answer is 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. So we have verified the 4-bit addition of uh, addition using IC7483. Now next let us move on to 4-bit subtraction. So for 4-bit subtraction we are having two cases that is first one is when the minimum is uh, less than the subtrahend and the second one is when the minimum is first one is when the minimum is greater than the subtrahend and the second case is when the minimum is less than the subtrahend. So uh, we have discussed those things in the last video. So when the minimum is less than the subtrahend, so we are considering the minimum as 9 here and the subtrahend as 10. So if you are subtracting uh, 10 from 9, then we will get the answer as minus 1. So uh, we are taking the juice complement and adding and we will get the result as 1, 1, 1, 1. So this will be the output will be the two's complement of the difference. So let us give uh, 9 at A and 10 at B and let us do the subtraction. So here 9 is given at A, 1001 and 10 that is 1010 is given at B and we have to give the mode at mode as 1. So now the answer is 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. So the answer is correct. So that is the 2's complement of the difference. Now the next case is, uh, so we have considered the second case now, that is when the minimum is less than the subtrahend. And the first case is when the minimum is greater than the subtrahend. So when the minimum is greater than the subtrahend, that is if you are subtracting 9 from 10, then the answer will be 1. So uh, we are giving uh, 10 at A and 9 at B and the answer will be equal to 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Here we have to discard the carry. And the answer will be 0, 0, 0, 1 which is equal to 1. So let us verify that. We can give 10, 1, 0, 1, 0 at A and 9 that is 1, 0, 0, 1 at B and mode is 1. So the answer will be equal to it is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And we have to discard the carry. So the answer will be 1. 10 minus 9 is 1. So we have verified the 4-bit subtraction also. So we have verified both the cases when the IC is working as adder and subtractor. So that's all for this video. Thank you.